Crops are clearly key to feeding an ever-increasing population. Therefore, we need to make sure that the growing process is as efficient as possible to get the highest yield possible out of the available land. We're getting less land and we need more food. So we need to make the whole process as efficient as possible. Now, pests are a big problem. If you grow crops, the last thing you want is pests coming in there and wiping out all your yield. Pests can be plants, other plants, weeds, animals, bacteria, viruses, or fungi. There's all sorts of things that you've got to fight off if you're trying to make your farming process as efficient as possible. Now, you can use chemical pesticides. This is the most common way to kill pests. These are normally sprayed onto the crops uh, regularly and are toxic to the pest, and they work really, really quickly. However, there are issues with using pesticides. One, pests can actually evolve resistance to them. Number two, you have to reapply them really regularly. Number three, it can damage other wildlife other than the pest. Number four, they could be washed away into rivers and streams and harm other organisms in the water. Organic farmers cannot use pesticides. So they may opt for something called biological control. Now, biological control is when another organism is introduced to control the pest rather than the chemical. So what you might do is you might introduce a natural predator, such as ladybirds, which kill greenflies. So you've got a greenfly infestation, you release lots of ladybirds onto your crop, and the ladybirds will eat the greenfly and you haven't had to use any chemicals. You might use a herbivore to destroy a weed that is out of control, so something that eats that plant. You might introduce them. You might introduce a parasite or it could introduce some sterile males. So these are males that then when they mate with the females don't produce any offspring and therefore the pests will die out after a generation or two. Now there's clearly some different pros and cons and most of the questions on pesticides and biological control in the exam will refer to pros and cons uh, or advantages and disadvantages. So you really need to make sure you know what are the advantages of pesticides and what are the disadvantages, what are the advantages of biological control and what are the disadvantages and be able to compare and contrast them as I have done on this table for you.